remarkable palette, little known and rarely considered by most folks, yet it undergirds almost everything. It could even be said to be the foundation of our global society. It's remarkably simple and yet there's a lot that goes into making one that may then travel the world carrying the stuff we use every day. It all starts in the woods where trees grow. Forests are a fantastically fruitful, renewable resource providing habitat, air, and water while producing fiber, in this case, for the remarkable pallet. Both hardwood trees and softwood trees are used to make pallets. This is an example of a regeneration harvest where all trees are harvested. This allows full sunlight to reach the forest floor and creates conditions of growth for more sun-loving species such as pine and most of the commercially valuable hardwoods in Virginia. A feller buncher is a common piece of equipment used in much of Virginia to safely and efficiently harvest timber. It cuts and holds and then lays down a bundle of trees in preparation for the skidder to pick them up. A skidder is another common piece of equipment on most logging jobs in Virginia. This grapple skidder grabs the trees, lifts one end off the ground, and drags them via the skid roads back to the log deck where they are further processed. On most logging jobs in the southeast, much of the initial processing of the logs occurs at the log deck in preparation for loading on trucks to transport them to mills. This operation uses a pull-through delimmer to cut the branches off with curved knife blades that encircle the trunk as the tree is pulled through. After the stems are delimmed, a buck saw cuts the logs to length, or bucks them. The loader then carefully places the logs, in this case, tree length logs, on the truck for safe transport to the mill. Logging operations are responsible for properly securing the load ensuring they are within legal weight limits before they leave the woods and enter public roadways. After reaching the mill, logs are unloaded from the truck and placed where needed at the mill. At this mill, the loader either places the logs into a short-term holding location or, as in this video, they may be placed directly onto the mill's production line to be sawn. The logs placed onto the line for cutting to length depend on defect in this mill, logs pass through a laser scanning system and are cut to length based on a computer optimized system that selects the optimum lengths based on log size, shape, expected product yield, and prices for various products. After being cut to length, logs pass through a metal detector and the bark is removed. There are various ways bark is removed, but in this mill, the round logs are made square by removing the curved sides of the log and by chipping off the rounded sides to make a square cant. The chips are a byproduct that can be used to make paper, fire the boiler on site, or perhaps even make home heating fuel pellets. The squared cants are then sent through saw heads for ripping into rough cut boards of desired thickness and width. Cut material is evenly spread out on the line and sorted into bins by size and length. Sorted and uniform material is then stacked for drying with stickers which creates space between boards for air circulation. This green wood is usually placed into a kiln for drying to a specified moisture content depending on the use of the final product. This adds dimensional stability to the wood and kills any stain or fungus or insect infestations that may be present. The type of woods used to make pallets is often hardwood for reasons of strength and the fact that it allows for a use of lower quality boards that may otherwise be wasted. Pine pallets are also built and wooden pallets of all wood types are also repaired and reused. This makes the product not only sourced and built from a renewable resource, but also makes it recyclable. This video is showing part of the process in a pallet recycling plant where the work is largely done by hand. Pallets are inspected and repaired as necessary with new fasteners and or new boards. Finished pallets are loaded onto, you guessed it, a pallet and into a truck to go around the world carrying all manner of goods economically and sustainably. Wood is the world's best example of a renewable resource. Managed forests provide a continual source of wood fiber for everything from high-end cabinetry to the lowly, the remarkable, 
Allen. 